we're going to go hang out with some friends tonight, but I came into the office because I wanted to show you something and ask you a question. The question is this, do you ever write your prayers down? If you don't, you probably should. These journals are some of my most valuable treasures because they hold insights, things I found in scripture, ideas, dreams that I've got, and probably most importantly, they hold prayers that I have written down throughout the year. Some of them very recent, like this is the one. Someone gave me a coffee journal. That's the one I'm using right now. Uh, a little random sketchbook that I kind of did a bunch of different stuff in. And I mean, this is just, oh, and then also sometimes my kids write in my journal. It's pretty cool. One of the most valuable things that are in these journals are these prayers that I have written. I wrote in this one back in 2009, a really specific prayer that I was reading just today. And it's incredible to see how God answered that prayer, but it's also really faith building for the prayers that I want to pray now, because I know he's answered all of these other prayers that I've been writing over the years. All right, I gotta go get Hannah. Uh, by the way, it seems a little bit like Tim walks to his car while talking. Is gonna be a pretty regular staple in the vlog. Anyway, there's another reason why I love writing down my prayers. And it's not just because I get to go back later and see those prayers. It's what they do for me in the moment. I am a really distracted person. Uh, my brain is constantly thinking about all sorts of different things and I've got all sorts of different inputs that are coming in that I, I need to try to find ways to, to shut down on a pretty regular basis if I wanna have any kind of focus in my prayer life. By the way, being a really distracted person isn't just a thing that's unique to me. I actually read a Harvard study that came out, I think in 2019, that found that 47% of every day that we're awake, we're actually doing what they called mind wandering, where our, our minds just naturally go to something other than the place where we're at right now. This is actually one of the things that makes writing down your prayers a powerful practice because our minds naturally want to wander. But when I write down my prayers, I find that I'm more focused. I'm more present in that moment of prayer. And I'm actually picking my words. I'm choosing more meaningful words that speak really right to what it is that I am trying to pray about. I'm really choosing words that I think are powerful for the prayer that I'm trying to present to God. seat with these two. Mexican food with friends and this wraps up today's vlog. How's that? You did the hand thing. You're welcome. <laughs> So we had a pretty great time hanging out with our friends in Ojai. We left their house and immediately we found out that we had a flat tire. So we did this. Oh. <coughs> this is awesome. Yeah. I'm stabbing my butt through my shoe. 
And Don is just looking on. <laughs> and now we are on the road. It is currently 11.15 and we've got about two hours until we're home. Woo. It is 1.40 a.m. We made it home. Thank you, trusty spare. Look, she's still the most beautiful person in the world at 1.40 in the morning. We're going to bed. We're going to bed. <laughs>